This will do just fine. Hey guys, it is Jeffrey from Press Your Luck. I even said Jeffrey this time because I'm so distinguished in this new kitchen. Uh, let me tell you something. We just spent the fa like the last three days packing up and moving, or I should say schlepping, where I come from, which is Yiddish for moving, basically. But it was worth it. I mean, we didn't sleep. We literally went through the night. We were like, let's just get it done. Let's just get it done. And we're going to have to live with these boxes because I'll tell you something about me personally. I hate clutter. I hate it. I'm all about the Marie Kondo. You know, I, I, I am all about her. So here we are. We unboxed everything and it feels great. I, was, I actually had to do it really quick because I wanted to make a new recipe for you as soon as possible. So let me tell you something about moving. They tell you some of the most stressful things in life can be starting a new job, getting divorced, getting married, actually, and moving is one of those things as well. And they ain't kidding, it sucks, it sucks. But it's over, it's done, and we are going to celebrate with my very first video recipe from this kitchen. Guys, what do you typically do when you celebrate, like on New Year's Eve? Of course you go to Times Square and spend the entire day and night there, right? No, of course not. You take a nice bottle of champagne, nice and chilled, and you pop it open and let that cork fly sky high. And guess what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna make a dish that's gonna incorporate a little champagne into the sauce, and it's gonna be so delicious and amazing. It's gonna be so good, your hair is gonna look like a messy, frizzy flop at the end. That's how good and delicious it is. Guys, we're making this dish today called Champagne Chicken, and I am so proud of it. It's so delicious. I am waiting to make this for you, and it is time to get to our Instant Pots right now and make some of the most outrageous, amazing champagne chicken. So easy to do. So it's time to christen this kitchen and give it a workout, and this is literally my very first meal. I've ever cooked in this kitchen just for you guys. And I'm gonna just put a cork in it right now and let's go. And look at this, a nice new cutting board. All right guys, I'm gonna start with two large shallots and then dice them up. Now I wanna make a little flour mixture to dredge or coat my chicken in. I wanna take about a half a cup of all-purpose flour and just put it in like a mixing bowl or a plate, whatever, and season it with just a little bit of salt. You don't have to put too much in, it's just a little bit. And some pepper as well. And then just whisk that up in the bowl. All right, and now we're gonna dredge our chicken in there. And now we're gonna take between one and a half to two pounds of a thinly sliced chicken breast, about a quarter of an inch thick, or about, you know, a quarter of an inch to a half an inch thick is fine. You don't want it to be super thick, like some breasts are real thick. You want them about this, and you can pound them thin, or you can buy them pre-sliced in your market, or you can just simply slice a breast until they are about this thickness, all right? Now let's dredge that in the flour. I'll take my chicken and just put it inside my flour mixture. This is called dredging, like I said. And you see that nice and dusted on each side. And then just put it on a plate and repeat the process with all the other chicken. And there we go, all of our lovely chicken, nice and dredged. All right, let's get to that pot now. So now I'm at the Instant Pot and I'm gonna add in a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Now let's come down to the control panel and hit the saute button and adjust so we're on the more or the high setting. And after about three minutes of the oil heating up in the pot, I'm now going to take my chicken in batches and I'm going to just cook it on each side for about two minutes. And then after two minutes, just give it a flip over and we should look just like that and give it another two minutes on the other side. And then after another two minutes, you're going to see we're nice and lightly browned on each side. And we're just going to put our chicken and remove it to a plate. And that's the perfect color we want. And now let's just repeat the process for all the chicken. And here's the last of my chicken, and it's going to join its brothers and sisters on this plate. And we're going to just let these guys rest and set them aside. And now we're going to focus on our pot again. Now I already have some oil in my pot, and I want to add to that one tablespoon of salted butter. And now swoosh that around in the pot until it melts and becomes all bubbly. And as we move around our butter in the pot, let's just make sure we deglaze or, you know, lightly scrape the bottom of the pot to get any of the flour remnants from the chicken off. We don't want anything really stuck on there. And now we're going to add in our shallots, as well as a tablespoon of crushed garlic. And let's saute that up in the pot for about two minutes. Okay, and we are looking good. Let's add some mushrooms to this pot. I'm going to add in 16 ounces of Baby Bella mushrooms. And as you can see, they're also sliced. We want them sliced. And let's stir that around in the pot with everything else and let this cook for another two minutes or so. 
and any of the oil or the butter that was in the pot is going to totally be like absorbed by the mushrooms. And after about two minutes of the mushrooms being stirred up in the pot, you're gonna see they're gonna start to sweat a little bit. And now we're going to add in our liquids. And that is going to be three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. Hey guys, this wouldn't be champagne chicken without some champagne. And since this is the first Instant Pot recipe I'm making in this kitchen, Woo! I felt that it only fitting that Richard was here. I've, clearly I'm very dressed for the occasion. I haven't shaved in like three weeks. <laughs> um, so let's get this thing off. And I'm taking some champagne. You make sure you use a dry champagne or like a Prosecco. I'm using Prosecco. That's perfect for this. Nothing too fancy. It was like 11 bucks. Point it that way. Okay, and here we go, guys. Let's open this. You drink from it, right? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna totally drink the rest afterwards. So I mean come on, right? Of course we are. All right. And now to that I'm going to add a half a cup of my dry champagne or prosecco because again, champagne chicken. Look at that. I also want to add in a teaspoon of oregano and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Let's mix that up with everything in the pot. We are looking great. Okay, and now it is time to add my chicken back into the mix. Just lay it right on top of all of the sauce in the pot. Or I should say liquid, it's not really a sauce yet. And to that I'm now going to add cherry tomatoes. Just lay them on top, just like this. Lovely. You could use grape tomatoes too. And about five to eight ounces of baby spinach. And I'm going to just simply lay it right on top. No stirring or anything like that. Just simply lay it right on top of everything in the pot. And if it looks like it's right at the brim, that's totally fine because spinach, as you might know, cooks down into nothing. It wilts, they say. And now I'm going to secure my lid. Make sure that I'm in sealing position. Now we'll come back to our control panel and then hit the cancel or the keep warm cancel button depending on your model. And then hit the pressure cook or manual button depending on your model. And we want to go for five minutes at high pressure. That's it. And if you're using a Duo Plus or a Nova Plus, it'll say normal on the top level. Leave it on normal whenever our pressure cooks. But make sure the pressure level is at high. And now that we're done cooking, let's perform a quick release. And our pin just dropped, so let's take our lid off. And I told you that, that spinach would cook down into nothing. It was all the way up here, and now it's all the way down there. Now let's take our tongs and just, you know, kind of move the spinach aside and take our chicken and then put it inside of a serving dish. Pardon all the steam. It's a little hot in here, but you get the gist. Just put all the chicken in a serving dish for now. And there we have it, looking lovely. Let's set this aside for now, and now we're gonna focus on turning this into the most amazing champagne sauce ever. Let's come back to our control panel again and hit the cancel button, or the keep warm cancel button, and then hit saute again. And we wanna leave it on more, and we wanna bring this to a bit of a bubble. Now we're gonna to wanna to thicken our sauce up a bit. And the way to do that, you can turn any sauce that's a little on the thinner side and make it into like a thick gravy-like consistency by making a cornstarch slurry. It's the easiest thing ever. I'm going to take literally one tablespoon of cornstarch, as well as one tablespoon of water. So we're on equal parts here. A tablespoon of cornstarch, a tablespoon of water. And then mix that together until it goes from like a cement-like consistency to a nice smooth one. Now it kind of looks like a milk or a cream or something of that nature. Guys, this stuff is like magic potion. It thickens things up wonderfully. And now let's take our cornstarch slurry and thicken this up now that we're bubbling and just stir it in just like that. It's gonna practically almost instantly thicken up the sauce into an amazing gravy-like consistency. And we're gonna let that bubble for a minute, and then after a minute, we're gonna kill the heat in the pot. And now let's hit the cancel, or the keep warm slash cancel button, depending on your model again, because we wanna let all these bubbles die down. Kill all that heat. If you know me by now, you know that I have a little bit of a fetish for a certain ingredient, because I find that it enhances so many amazing flavors in so many dishes. Uh, guys, we're gonna be using some Borsin, this garlic and fine herb flavor. Any flavor they have is really fine, whatever one you want. This stuff is basically just like party cheese. It's like a soft cream cheese, and you find it at a lot of parties. Usually you'll just cut some off, or you just dip a cracker directly into it like I do. You can get this in the supermarket, usually by like the fancy cheese or like the charcuterie section. And I'm just gonna dice this up into about six little pieces, because we're gonna intersperse this into the sauce. See that nice and cut up into little chunks here, about six little pieces because it'll be easier to disperse when I whisk it into the sauce. And as soon as we turn off the heat, you're gonna see it's gonna bubble for a few more moments. We're gonna now add in the borsin. And then just stir that around in the pot until it gets totally melded into the sauce. And like I said, we're gonna stir this around until all of that borsin, or cream cheese, if you're using cream cheese, is melding. If you're using cream cheese, use about five ounces of an eight ounce brick. It should take about two minutes to get all the borsin melded into the sauce. We don't wanna see any chunks of it left. 
All right, and our sauce is looking beautiful, and our final ingredient is going to be a third of a cup of heavy cream, or you can use half and half. Stir that up. And guys, this is looking beautiful in terms of color, and I know I said that the cream was the last ingredient, but you know, I, I tricked you. We have an encore, one more thing, and that is going to be one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Make sure it's grated. And add it in batches, and then whisk it up into the sauce. Or you can just do it like this, and whisk it in. There we go, guys. This is going to be an absolutely unforgettable, regal sauce. And there is our unbelievably rich, creamy, champagne -y sauce. And now let's drape this all over our chicken. All right, and here we go. I just love the way the entire dish comes together with all the sauce and all the ingredients combined in there. Like with the tomatoes, the mushrooms, the spinach, everything. And of course that amazing champagne, which adds amazing flavor. Look at how beautiful that is. And there we have it guys, champagne chicken. Let's plate it up and let's serve it up. All right, I'm using a pasta bowl, but who cares, right? Don't judge me. And this actually goes great over pasta, so if you wanna make it over pasta, amazing. Serving myself a couple of slices. One slice is nice, but I prefer it twice. Champagne chicken is nice, so I'll say it thrice. Don't want to skimp out on those mushrooms and the tomatoes, which basically turn into like stewed tomatoes at this point, but that's how I like them. I like them like that. All right, get some spinach and shrooms in there too, and perfection. Let's grab a fork and let's try it out. All right, guys, here it is. You know, let me take my hat off before I eat. It's so rude of me. Even though my hair is, you know, me and my hair lately, I haven't gotten a cut. It's been, look at me, look at this. I've never had this much neck hair since I can't even remember, but still, I was moving, so. What can I do? Look at this deliciousness, let's go. I'm not gonna need a knife at all, just look at this. Easily one of the best chicken dishes I've ever had. It's like you're going to like Cheesecake Factory or like Grand Lux Cafe and having one of these decadent chicken dishes. The sauce is creamy, it's cheesy, it's mushroomy, it's tomatoey, it's spinachy, but most of all, it has a hint of champagne flavor in there. Who doesn't love that? Mmm. Hey Richard. Let's celebrate. Come over here, try this out. All right, so what do you think? Give it a try. That's a big piece. I can't eat that on screen. <laughs> you can cut it with a fork though. It's a fork. Wow, look at that. What do you think? Mmm. How does it taste? That is really good. <laughs> is it celebratory, the flavor? Like, does it taste like something that you would get eat like on a special occasion? Sure, it's like a wedding chicken dish. Like a good, creamy, sorry. It's a good creamy sauce. Definitely has the champagne feel to it. Very good. Awesome. Very tasty. Awesome. I keep getting used to these new sounds in here. We actually have like an ice maker in the freezer now, so it makes ice. It's like, we have a dishwasher. It's like, I can't even begin to tell you. It's like I won the lottery or something. I have been finally having a civilized kitchen here. It's so nice. So you enjoy the dish. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's really... Oh, it was off camera there. Oh. It, it was so good it to fell me off camera. camera. Mm. Mm. It's mm. amazing the things that we consider luxuries in New York City <laughs> that all of you have. Right, it, it's so true. But, you know, we're extra luxury because mm. we put a little champagne in this chicken. Mmm, it's really, really good. And it cuts literally with the fork, the chicken. It's so tender. There's zero dryness to worry about. It's really delicious. Here you go. Try that. Good? Good. It's great. Very good. Delicious. Guys, if you enjoyed these recipes, oh, look at this, I gotta fix the camera. I have to get used to these new filming angles. Guys, if you enjoy these videos and these recipes, check out PressureLoveCooking.com for tons of recipes that run the gamut from healthy to comfort, from vegan to carnivore. They're all easily found as well, very easy to search. Facebook.com slash PressureLoveCooking. Like my Facebook page for any time a new recipe drops, you'll be notified. Anytime I share anything, little tidbits about my life even, if you wanna check that out, like that page. And of course, at PressureLuck on YouTube, where all my videos are easy easily cataloged, as well as Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. Guys, thank you so much. And I'm learning a little bit the nooks and crannies of this kitchen, so my camera angles, bear with me, will eventually evolve in here. But I think we have a big success on our hands for the first meal. Champagne chicken is truly something special. It doesn't have to be Friday celebration specifically, but it's just, you know, it has a nice ring to it. It's champagne chicken. Give it a try. Thank you so much for everything again. And guys, I'll tell you right now, you're gonna all pop your corks for champagne chicken.